a man who was stopped by armed police in Bradford while carrying a homemade 3D printed gun in the back of his car has been imprisoned. Officers stopped Majib Rehman in his BMW on May the 17th last year. A search of the vehicle found an FGC-9 homemade automatic submachine gun, magazine and bullets hidden in a supermarket bag for life in the rear of the footwell of the car. Appearing before Sheffield Crown Court, Reman, age 46, of Horton, Bradford, was jailed for five years and four months. He was found guilty of possession of ammunition and conspiracy to transfer a prohibited firearm at a trial held at Sheffield Crown Court in March. Fellow defendants C. Basiso Moyo and Christopher Gill were jailed last month for their involvement in manufacturing weapons using a 3D printer. The court was told the guns were destined to be used in organised crime. Moyo, aged 41, of Hull, who was found guilty of illegally manufacturing a firearm and a separate identity fraud offence, was jailed for 18 years. Gill, 35, of Tyersall, Bradford, who was found guilty of illegally manufacturing a firearm, was jailed for 13 years and 8 months. The investigation conducted by the Yorkshire and Humber Regional Organised Crime Unit is believed to be the first prosecution of its kind in the UK. Speaking after the sentencing, Senior Investigating Officer, Detective Chief Inspector Andrew Howard of the Yorkshire and Humber Regional Organised Crime Unit said, Over recent times we have seen the tragic and devastating consequences that criminally held firearms being used by offenders have caused. These include the fatal shootings of innocent people and the shattering of the lives of those close to them, not to mention the impact such incidents have on our communities. Two men who were involved in the manufacture, supply and distribution of privately manufactured 3D printed automatic weapons have received significant sentences for their roles. The investigation found that Sibusi saw Moyo and Christopher Gill followed detailed instructions and systematically bought items used to manufacture and construct these deadly firearms and ammunition. They demonstrated levels of sophistication in the manufacture processes and successfully produced viable firearms. Majib Rehman, a close criminal associate, was found guilty of distributing one of the viable FGC-9, a 3D printed firearm with an ammunition clip containing 8 live rounds of ammunition. Manufacture of a viable 3D printed firearm is a real threat and these firearms were built for one purpose only, to be supplied to other organised criminals who would use them to inflict harm. This has been a groundbreaking complex investigation supported by the National Crime Agency into the new threat posed by 3D printed guns. These are officers that put themselves in harm's way on a daily basis to protect our communities from the dangerous offenders armed with weapons. Their professionalism has been recognised by the court. The Yorkshire and Humber Regional Organised Crime Unit welcome the sentences imposed by the court. We are determined to keep the public safe by tackling those that choose to manufacture these lethal weapons. Those that do will be hunted down and will feel the full weight of the law and should expect to receive lengthy sentences. Matt Perfect, Operations Manager at the National Crime Agency National Firearms Targeting Centre said, the NCA's National Firearms Targeting Centre coordinates the national intelligence picture on firearms and played a key and decisive role in this investigation. This organised crime gang was the first in the UK convicted of trying to supply other criminal groups with 3D printed firearms. Gun crime in the UK continues to be relatively low 
compared to mainland Europe and is among the lowest in the world. However, demand for firearms in the criminal market continues, suppressing their availability is therefore a national priority for the NCA and UK law enforcement. The NCA works closely with police and partners at home and abroad to target criminals using firearms and to cut off supply routes into the country as well as distribution within it. Please like and comment and I would love it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.